Last time before the World Cup in, in Ireland, talk to us about it. Um, well, we're not as happy with the result as we'd like to be, obviously, but I think that we need to obviously learn from our mistakes, but there was a lot of positives we can take out of it. I think the first, like, 42 minutes or whatever it was, um, we really held them to not really being successful um, towards our goal, and we, you know, had a goal that I heard was on sides, actually. Um, but we did so well defensively, and we also created a lot offensively, and, I saw, and France is an amazing team, so I just think the fact that we did that at all is just giving us confidence going forward. Talk to us about that a couple of minutes just before half time. First goal comes and the second one comes pretty quickly after. Yeah, it sucks. Um, yeah, it's just like kind of a heartbreaking feeling when you're dominating and doing so well and then you feel like you switch off for a second and you're being punished for it. But that's like what football is. And I think there's just a lot that we can learn from that and we're going to do better for the next game. And no, we, we just can't switch off. Ireland didn't seem to capitalize on the chances early on. Is that probably a bit disappointing? Yeah, and I think like when we play good teams, like we have to capitalize capitalize on those chances. And you know that like a goal can change the whole game. So if we scored a goal or two, like the whole game would have been would have been completely different. So, yeah. I know you said that you thought the one for for Ireland was onside from Kieran Russo from your knockdown. When you look at it, when you look at it back, the tight margins that could have changed things slightly. Do you think? Oh, totally for sure. I mean. Any goal can change the whole energy of a game, and I think the time that that goal went in, we were already dominating, and I think we could have like gotten another one after that, and um, yeah, that would have changed the whole game for sure. Talk to us about the game plan at the start, because the fact you said you dominated for quite a large part of your first half. Talk to us about that game plan, because for the same friends are a very good side. Yeah, I mean, I think initially we always want to defend and be close-knit and tight and make sure that like France can't really get through us but I just thought that we did like such a good job at attacking as well and I think that maybe a lot of people don't think Ireland like they think of them as more a defensive team but I think we showed tonight that we can do amazing things offensively and it's just about capitalizing on that so um, I thought the first 42 minutes like we stuck to the game plan it worked and it worked really well. How was your experience of your first home game lining up for Aaron Bean in front of what was a, a record crowd for women's international here in Ireland? Yeah, it was awesome. I was like really nervous about it, but um, really excited. And again, like the support from this entire country and the fans has just been amazing. And I think this is just like one example of that. And um, just seeing all the flags waving, and you can just like feel the passion and the heart and the cheers and, and from everyone. So it's just been awesome. And were you pleased to get, you got a good run of minutes for, for today's game. You obviously played a bit more football since we saw you last in, in the green jersey. Yeah, for sure. I've been playing more minutes with my club and I think it was 80 minutes before my calves started crimping today. So hopefully I can like push it to 90 if they need me. Um, but yeah, it was great. I think it's just like for me, just getting more experience with the team and touching a ball and really getting those anxieties out is just like helpful. Yeah, so that's what it was at the end today, just cramping. Yeah, nothing serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Super embarrassing. It's okay. <laughs> and uh, how do you feel you played personally, you know, from a football perspective? You talked about how Ireland played, but how do you think you did out there? It was okay. I mean, I think I, like, I can tell when I'm playing a little nervous, like, scared, and I definitely, like, felt that tonight, like, just knowing when I have more time on the ball and um, being nervous and giving the ball, like, rushing, you know, a few passes that I gave away that I could have just, like, kind of kept the ball. Um, and I think one of my strengths is being calm on the ball and keeping the ball for us. So there's a few things that, like, I wish I did differently, but I'm going to learn from them. And, like, for me, I just have to be positive because I will spiral. So that's where I'm at. And there was a bit of a huddle after the match where, I don't know, you guys tried to regroup. Could you let me know what the, the message was in that sort of team talk? Yeah, I think it's just like how we all feel. Like, we put on a good show for 42 minutes and we showed what we could do, but there's a lot we can learn from and we should be confident for how we played for some of the game, but there's things that we need to, like, work on before we get to the World Cup. And honestly, like, we're not at the World Cup yet, so these are the games we're gonna make mistakes and try and figure it out. There's a lot of us, this is only my second game with the team, like, there's just new players in and stuff, so we're still learning um, how to play with each other. So I think I think it's all great, yeah. How big is the Columbia game, the free World Cup game? It's, I mean, I think any game is big, like, um, it's just another opportunity that we get to work on things and figure out and build relationships on the field. And so 
like, yes, we're looking to the World Cup, but our most important game is the next game. So that's the most important thing that we're looking forward to right now. I hope a few weeks been on Ireland, but a few days, kind of since you've been in, it's been pretty open day, I guess. Yeah, I think I came in when I think, you know, the roster had been announced. So I think that was really hard for um, some people, but there's definitely been a shift in the energy, like, Every, like the crew is established now. We know who's going to be on that plane to Australia. We're leaving tomorrow and the next day. And so it's really here. So we're just like having fun with it and celebrating and getting excited. You had a weekend off uh, before the game. What did you get up to? Did you get saved? So my family's here. My sister just moved to Delvin. And so my parents were here to help them move. So I got to like hang out with them in our house in Delvin. So it was just like very chill and nice and relaxing. So that was like not planned at all because like I didn't know if I was going to be here or not so it just like coincidentally worked out um, and then I saw like my aunts and uncles on Saturday and stuff like that so it was really nice and they all came to the game tonight so does it feel real now like the World Cup experience no no I don't think it, <laughs> I think like when it's over I'll be like oh that happened um, no but I think like I think it's hard not to feel real when you're going to step on that first game and there's like 82,000 people there um, but yeah, I think it's just like still feels a little bit surreal. Um, maybe when we're in like Australia, but I think it's still like I don't know. Almost feels like a little bit of a blur. Have you ever so. played in front of a crowd that big? No. It's like Seven thousand. Like, that's no, it's crazy. Yeah, I think like thirty thousand maybe is the most I've played for. Maybe twenty five. So that's a pretty big difference. Um, but you know, when you're on the field, you kind of you're present with what's going on. But I also like who knows what it's gonna actually feel like. How do you contain the nerves then without any mention I don't know. <laughs> I think I just trust that like once I'm playing, you're just focused on like getting the job done and you try and like block everything out because the second I start overthinking it's just a disaster. So um, I'm just hoping for the best. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys.